Tang Weijin. The name itself evokes a sense of mystery, ambition and controversy in the world of Chinese finance. Born into humble beginnings, Tang's early life was marked by a hunger for knowledge and a relentless drive to succeed. His journey began with a deep fascination for the stock market, a fascination that would later propel him to dizzying heights. Starting small, he quickly gained a reputation for his sharp intellect and uncanny ability to predict market trends. Tang's early success stories read like something out of a financial fairy tale. He amassed a considerable fortune, becoming a self-made millionaire and a rising star in China's burgeoning financial landscape. His insights were sought after, his advice followed with almost religious fervor. He was the financial guru, the man with the Midas touch, turning everything he touched into gold. His story resonated with the aspirations of millions in a rapidly changing China, a symbol of what could be achieved with grit, determination and a little bit of luck. As his wealth and influence grew, so did his ambitions. Tang expanded his portfolio, venturing into new and unexplored territories of the financial world. He wasn't content with just playing the market. He wanted to shape it, to bend it to his will. His ventures were bold, often bordering on reckless, but they paid off, at least initially. His empire grew, encompassing not just stocks, but real estate, commodities, and even film production. Tang Weijin had become a force to be reckoned with, a titan of industry in a country hungry for its own success stories. Tang Weijin's meteoric rise inevitably drew comparisons to some of the most iconic figures in the financial world. Some hailed him as the Chinese Warren Buffett, recognizing his investment acumen and long-term vision. They pointed to his ability to identify undervalued assets, his patient approach to investing, and his unwavering belief in the power of compound growth. Tang, they argued, was cut from the same cloth as the Oracle of Omaha, a visionary leader capable of guiding investors to untold riches. However, whispers of doubt began to emerge, casting a shadow over Tang's carefully constructed image. Critics, particularly those in the Western media, drew parallels between Tang and another infamous figure, Bernie Madoff. They questioned the sustainability of his returns, the opacity of his investment strategies and the lack of transparency in his dealings. Was Tang Weijin a financial genius, they asked, or was he merely a master illusionist, weaving a web of deceit that would eventually unravel, leaving countless investors in ruins? The debate raged on with both sides presenting compelling arguments. Tang's supporters pointed to his track record, his philanthropic endeavors, and his unwavering confidence in his own abilities. His detractors countered with allegations of insider trading, market manipulation, and outright fraud. The truth, as is often the case, likely lay somewhere in between these two extremes. The year 2008 sent shockwaves through the global financial system. The collapse of Lehman Brothers triggered a domino effect, sending markets into a tailspin and pushing the world to the brink of economic meltdown. The crisis exposed the fragility of the financial system and the interconnectedness of global markets. It also served as a litmus test for investors worldwide, separating those with sound strategies from those riding a wave of speculation. Tang Weijin, like many of his contemporaries, felt the full force of the financial earthquake. His investments, once considered untouchable, began to crumble. The global recession exposed the weaknesses in his empire, the cracks in his facade of invincibility. His returns plummeted, his investors panicked, and the chorus of criticism grew louder. Had the Chinese Warren Buffett finally met his match? Despite the mounting pressure, Tang remained defiant. He attributed his losses to the global crisis, a force majeure beyond his control. He assured his investors that their money was safe, that he had a plan to weather the storm and emerge stronger than ever before. But the damage was done. The aura of invincibility had been shattered, replaced by a cloud of suspicion and doubt. The world watched closely, waiting to see if Tang Weizhen could rise from the ashes or if he would be consumed by the flames of his own creation.